Hey guys, it's me Ari here, and I'm here to show you that uh, my script to install Arc Linux on your SD card works. Um, I'm going to show you using my Chromebook. Uh, don't worry about that, I flash my own. You don't have to flash your Chromebook to do it. It's just. I was trying to get it to do some other stuff, but I couldn't get it to do it right. So I'm probably about to flash it back to its original. Oh man. Try to do while typing on here. You gotta be kidding me. There you go. Control U. Here we go. I'm gonna boot up the sequence. This is what I'm gonna, this is what it's gonna look like when you um hit Control U on the Chromebook to boot it. To Arc Linux from the USB. I installed LXDM as my graphical manager. I got the LXQT desktop. But first, I'm going to show you Genome. Because Genome is my favorite. Password and username is root. Give it a second here. Boot times vary for genome. Once it's completely booted, it's not going to go slow. So don't expect it to be going slow just because you got an ARM Chromebook. Genome actually works pretty well on Arc Linux, fast and reliable. believe that should be right. Go to all my apps. Good. Loaded all my apps already. Everything's on here. It's nice, right? I'm sorry, my camera's kind of bad. It's not really good. Let me show you my LXQT desktop now. Another one of my favorites. There it is. It's a very beautiful desktop. It's all any tool you need. Simple. Um, I don't know what to do about it. If you're a gamer, I don't really know what to tell you because you can't really do too much gaming on an ARM Chromebook. It's kind of hard. I know for Arc Linux you can install SNES 9X, but I haven't got it to work yet. I got Mad Nathan to work though to play Sega Genesis games, but that's it. I know they got PlayStation 1 emulator on here, but don't know how far you're going to get using that one either. But anyways, there you go, guys. You see the proof. 
and have fun installing it. Use LXDM as your graphical login manager to save you the time of having to configure anything. Uh, install whatever desktop environment you know is installable, like Bodhi or XFC or anything like that, whatever you want to install. It's your work. Alright guys, catch you next time.